Hello and welcome to CKE 10,000 Winscaping Channel. In this video, we'll be looking at my Fujimi Fantasia Bunko 8 Gold Bar deck profile. This deck build runs 18 level zeros, 13 level ones, 3 level twos, 8 level threes, and 8 climax cards. So the first card we look at are the level zeros. I'm running three copies of. Let me focus a bit. High school girl from Jindai High, Kaname. It has one ability. When this card is put away from your stage, you may pay the cost, which is pay one, take a hit. If you do, search your deck for up to one cost zero or lower Fantasia Bunko or Whispered character. Uh, put it on any position of your stage as rest and shuffle your deck. This card is errata, but uh, essentially you have to call a cost zero that's equal to or lower than your level. And then I'm running three copies of Red-Haired Princess Rias. It has two effects. The first is Katiwis. Your other character in the middle position of your center stage gets plus five power. The second effect act is when a climax is placed on your climax area, you can pay one. If you do, choose one believing in the same dream event in your waiting room and return it to your hand. So that's the event that you can uh, add back to hand. I'm running two copies of Interviewed for Valentine, Suzuka. It has two effects. The first is if your stock has two or less cards, this card gets plus greater power. The second effect is once this card is placed on stage from your hand, put the top two cards of your deck into your waiting room. If there's level zero or lower character on those cards, this card's soul does not decrease uh, when side attacking until the end of turn. They rank two copies of the Reiner of Ferris card. Uh, this card's also errata. It has two effects. The first is when this card is placed on stage for your hand, you can discard a card. If you do, choose one Fantasia, Bunko, or Magic character in your clock, right to your hand, put the top card of your deck into your clock. And then the second effect is the one that's errated. It says you're uh, choose up to, but you're not supposed to choose up to. You're supposed to choose one and put it back on top of your deck, and then put the rest into the waiting room. Then I'm running three copies of Instantaneous Decision Glen has one activate effect let me focus a bit let's act pay one rest two of your characters put the top two cards of your deck into your waiting room choose one level x or lower fantasia bunko or magic character in your waiting room and return to your hand x is equal to the total level of cards okay and then i'm running two copies of gentle smile rumia it has one effect when this card is placed on stage from your hand, you can pay one, discard a Fantasia, Bunko, or Magic character. If you do, look up to four cards from the top of your deck, choose up to one card from among them, add them, add it to your hand, and put the rest into your waiting room. It's going to help you grab climaxes. Then bring one copy of Nations Unified by Force, Nobuna. It has two effects. The first is continuous during your turn. This card gets 1,000 power. The second effect is when this card is placed on stage from your hand, you can pay three stock. If you do, put all your opponent's stock into your opponent's waiting room, and your opponent puts the same number of cards from the top of their deck into their stock. So it kind of just, uh, it's a stock wash card. Then I'm running one copy of the trial deck card, Heart Magic Yuna. When this card is placed on stage from your hand, you can pay one stock to discard a card. If you do, search your deck for up to one Fantasia Bunko or Magic character, reveal to your opponent, put your hand, and then, then shuffle your deck. So it's just a generic on play uh, tutor. Number one copy of the uh, red uh, salvaging brainstormer. I'm running one copy of it. Uh, I don't really use it for the first effect. I only use it for the second effect. Let me focus a bit. It's a uh, activate brainstorm. Pay one rest card for the over cards from top deck. Put them in your waiting room for each class revealed. Choose up to one character in your waiting room and turn hand. So it's just a purely um, for the brainstorming effect. I use that card. Then I'm running four copies are. Devoted Magician Yuna has two effects. The first is continuous. This card gets plus 500 power for each of your other Fantasia, Bunko, or Magic characters. The Clax combo is when this card battle point converts. If secrets inherited from whether a child is in your Clax, put up to two cards from the top of your deck into your stock. So it's on reverse. Uh, get two stock. So, yeah. Then I'm going to rank two copies of the uh, 102k backup. So let me focus in on that a bit. Fairy of Water Muse. All right. Then we're in four copies of the event, believing in the same dream. Uh, 
its effect is put the top two cards of your deck into your waiting room, choose up to one level X or lower Fantasia, Bunko, or Demon character in your waiting room, and return to hand. X equals to the level of total cards put into the waiting room by this card's effect. So it's the only way of plussing that way. I'm running three copies of The Four Girls of Elementario. Um, let me focus a bit. This card has four effects. The first is when this card is placed on stage from your hand, you may put the top card of your opponent's stock into your opponent's waiting room. If you do, choose one card in your opponent's waiting room and put it on top, uh, into his or uh, her, her stock. The second effect is when this card attacks, uh, choose one of your other Fantasia Bunko or Amagi brilliant characters, and that gets plus 1,000 power until the turn. The third effect is when damage dealt by this card is cancelled, you may put this card into stock. The fourth effect is pay one stock, give this card itself one soul until end of turn. So you can pay it multiple times and give it multi a lot of soul. Then I'm running three level twos. The first is pure princess Toka. The first car uh, effect on it is actually errata. It's supposed to be other, but uh, yeah. The continuous this card gets plus 15 power for each of your other Fantasia, Bunko, or Celestial characters in the backstage. Auto, this ability activates once per turn. When you use an act effect, this card gets plus X power, where X equals the number of other Fantasia, Bunko, Celestial characters you have. Then I'm running uh, this level 2, which is when this card attacks. If the character facing this is level 3 or higher, this card gets plus uh, 6,000 power until the end of turn. And then this is just an early uh, play uh, uh, backup punisher. Uh, when you use this card's backup effect, you can discard two cards. If you do, choose one of your opponent's characters higher level than your opponent's level and put it into his or her waiting room. Then I'm running three copies of Kindness and Strength Rumia. It's your early play for the deck. It has three effects. The first is continuous. If you have four more other Fantasia, uh, Bunko, or Magic characters, you can early play it. When this card is placed on stage from your hand, you can choose one Fantasia, Bunko, or Magic character in your clock and put it in your memory. So you can heal into memory. The last effect is when this card is placed on stage from hand, you can pay one stock, ditch the card, two cards. If you do, choose one of your other characters, and that character is plus X power, where X equals to that character's uh, power. And then the next card I'm going to show is also Errata. It's supposed to be two or more uh, other the se for the second effect. So I'm running two copies of Acting Manager's Aid Usuzu. It has three effects. The first is if your waiting room is two or less climaxes, this card gets minus one level in hand. The second is if you have two or more other Fantasia Bunko or Amabri characters, this card gets plus 1,000 power. The third effect is auto. When this card is placed on stage from your hand, reveal the top card of your deck. If that card is a Fantasia Bunko or Amabi character, this card gets the following ability until end of turn. When this card's battle point becomes reversed, you can put that character into your opponent's clock. So it's an early play that can uh, clock kick. So I'm running at two copies. Then I'm running three copies of the Jin Teresa card. It has two effects. The first effect is... Auto, when this card is placed on stage from your hand, you may put the top card of the clock into your waiting room. Second effect is auto climax combo. When beginning of the battle is placed on your climax area, if this card is on our center stage and you have four more other Fantasia Bunko or Mithril characters, look up to three cards from the top of your opponent's deck. Choose up to three cards from Long Thub. Put them into your opponent's waiting room. Return the rest to your opponent's deck. Your opponent shuffles his or her deck. So really, it tries to uh, pull climaxes out of your opponent's deck. So when you uh attack it'll be more chances of you know not hitting the climax so this is kind of your finisher combo and then the last eight cards of the deck are the climax cards four copies of the gold bar climax secrets inherited from mother to child for your level one combo so and if yeah it's the level one and then the other climax card is also a gold bar as well beginning of the battle for your uh, finisher level 3 combo. Alright, thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Check outcoredex.com in the description below to see an overview of this deck build.